style by jury. The makeover candidates come face to face with two separate but equally important groups. And the jury who judge them. These are their journeys. Are you okay to hear it? Yeah, sure. Okay, here it is. Oh is that a man? It's Malibu Barbie. Malibu Barbie's got a little bit of a mustache. She looks like she got advice from a drag queen wannabe. It looks like someone dumped a plate of spaghetti on her head. <laughs> Maybe she has all that hair to get the attention away from her mustache. I believe her look is what Paris Hilton will look in her 60s. There's a dark story behind all those bright mm -hmm. colors. She has so much potential. She has beautiful eyes. Ibovka, the jury has spoken. Ubavka had overcome one major hurdle, but as our dentists were about to discover, the hurdles were far from over. Hi Ubavka, how are you? Hi, good, thank you. you. Can you tell us a little bit about your teeth and what's happening? I, I'm a smoker and uh, I just start to have more space behind my teeth and uh, I like to fix it little. One my friend on the work, she told me I have uh, like a uh, good dentist, he's so cheap, he do good job. Go to dentist, it's a uh, very bad experience. I think because Ubovka was trying to save some money because she didn't have any insurance, she went to see a dentist in an apartment and I don't think he was very good or even licensed. I have uh, many trouble with my teeth, uh, they falling down, I can go somewhere without my glue polish. So you're gluing them back on with the nail glue? Yes. It's very unhealthy. She keeps on utilizing special types of acrylics and glues to keep these teeth in. You can actually see on the roof of her mouth where the glue is actually staying in that position and it's it has to be removed this is not good and this one i lose it i, I have to prepare it myself that one you made it I, yourself that one yes what did you make it with with some kind of plastic just to be kind of white i have to tell you we have never seen anyone do this before no. i cannot believe what ubavka goes through it's horrifying to realize that someone has to resort to that to make themselves teeth. So much pain, so much embarrassing, so much uncomfortable. Yeah. There'll be no more glue, no more pain. Yeah. Okay. I know. So. so we're gonna take out those four root tips I think that are left in there and then we'll do a bridge from the teeth that you have. Hopefully we can save those and your lower teeth we're gonna do some veneer work but we have to go in there and we have to clean everything up first. Thank, Thank you very much. I'm so excited. Uh, that's beautiful, beautiful what can happen, especially now. I don't know, I can't believe it's happened. It's like a miracle. Ubavka's confidence is growing every day, but her second visit to the dentist to replace her homemade teeth is sure to be the icing on the cake. Okay. My new teeth. My new <laughs> teeth that don't come out. And you don't have to crazy glue them back in anymore. That's beautiful. For the past five years, Ubavka has been gluing her homemade acrylic teeth. And you know what? She's not going to have to glue those teeth anymore. The only thing that's going to be glued to her teeth are her eyes. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> that for sure changed my life. I'm more stronger, confident. I'm so proud. When Ubavka came in seven days ago, the jury thought she dressed way too flamboyant. David Klemmer found sophisticated high-end clothes to adorn her beautiful figure. Her teeth were homemade and falling out, but permanent veneers gave her a sparkling new smile. She used her hair to deflect attention from her face. With her new sleek style, it's all eyes on her. But it was her facial hair that made her give up hope. With laser treatment, she can now hold her head up high. No longer destined to be mistaken for a man, Ubavka is now ready to take the world by storm.